Bryce! What the hell are you still doing here? Yeah, I missed the last flight. After you. Background level's normal. Chris, look at this. These are ours. There's Italian, French, and more American. Uh, from before Desert Storm, we must have missed them. Hey. There's no dates. No dust either. These are newer too. Charms. I'm gonna call this in. We're sending some top brass out here right now. They want the cash burned. We're not moving them? They want them destroyed, like yesterday. Chris, those chemicals may have expired, but they're not safe to breathe, okay? Half your guys don't even have adequate suits. No gear. We need to get out right now. That's insane. You're really surprised. Fucking death jockey. I'm Special Assistant to the White House. It seems you have found what we've been looking for. Actually, this stuff is- Good work, soldier. I'll make sure your hard work is noted. Is this it? Yes, sir. Show it to me. You are to leave the area immediately heading south. As a matter of national security, you and your men are prohibited from speaking with anyone about what you found here. Any questions? Procedure calls for us to render all weapons useless before leaving them. While well, I'm rewriting procedure. He says he's with the White House. this place off the map. Hey, this could be a political nightmare. We invaded under the pretext of controlling Saddam's WMD. I gotta file this. You weren't supposed to be here.
You Keller? That's me. So you'd like to see you in his office? You know, I was just coming to see him. Have fun. Come in. <clears throat> you should have left when the others did. I want your summary of what happened today. We found outdated WMD that the U.S. and our allies sold to Saddam in the late 80s in violation of the Biological Weapons Convention. We found several rockets with ranges exceeding what we thought Saddam capable of, and several crates of warheads with what looked like Iranian markings. Some suit from the White House came in and lit the place up before we could complete our inspections. Today's find was outdated ammunition and Iraqi small arms. I represent the IC, okay? Accountability is all we have. You're an American first. Was it you that gave the order that Price's men not wear their suits? It was a controlled blast! And it was over 100 degrees out there! You got any further questions? No, sir. Then you're dismissed. <laughs> Sounds like you had an interesting day. Oh, yeah? How's that? CO is on the phone sounding like he gave himself an aneurysm. Brought up your name more than once. Appreciate it. Keller? Yeah? Come here, we see some intel we gotta check out. Just the, uh, just the two of us? Base is overextended. And since you're here, CEO wants to put you to work. Check it out. I'll be right behind you. I got to uh, take a leak.
Where's the uh, C-130 headed? German. I bet you miss him, huh? Miss what? Yeah, I do. Sign of a weekend stateside, man. <sighs> Not this shit. I need to be on that plane. You got your clearance? No, but I'm aware of your weight restrictions, and I'd have to leave this behind. But you need this. If anybody asks you, we never met. Here you go. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Ah, verdammt nochmal. I haven't seen you since Desert Fox. Listen, I, uh, I need to lay low for a while. And I also need a passport. What's going on? I gotta get back to the States. Since 9-11, there's far more scrutiny on civilian travel into the earth. I'll see what I can do. The fact that the U.S. sold weapons to Saddam in the 80s. It's minimized in the media, but it's not exactly a secret. That's not worth getting you killed over. We found crates with these markings we didn't recognize, containing rockets and warheads which could possibly reach Israel. Hmm. A week ago, we were involved in a firefight in uh, Iraq, close to the Iranian border. We think they were Shiites. They were moving crates across the border. killed and they left a crate behind with the exact same markings and the guy that got killed was the best of them did you get an id nothing in all my years in intelligence i've never seen anything like it your government you have a virtual stranglehold on all the intel for that area to get information out of that region it's virtually impossible Excuse me. Oh. Ja, sicher? Ja, nicht unbedingt. Ja, wir werden sehen. Okay, vielen Dank. Ja, tschüss. Passport is out of the question. But I think I know something even better.
Take me back to the way it was. I'm waiting here and signal to take me. Hey. <laughs> they told me you were killed by an IED in Nazariah. Has anyone contacted you? How could they make such a mistake? There was no mistake. Has anyone contacted you? Mm -hmm. Some guy from Veterans Family Assistance came by a couple days after your funeral. I told him you were with the IC, but he said that didn't matter. I'm surprised they had the resources. What did, what did he want? He wanted to see if I was okay. He did ask if you mailed me anything recently. Hey, Mom, if anyone comes around, okay, if anyone comes looking for me, they need to believe that I'm dead. Promise me. to know that you understand me. Okay. Nicholas? Uh, he is... He is gone. Oh, God. Poor Kathy. And now Chris, in the VA hospital. What? Where? Downtown. Are you sure? Yes. I, I spoke with Marsha online a couple weeks ago. I need to see him. Maybe you'll be be able to help me. There's something there's something I have to tell you. Your father.
you doing over there? Come back over here. What have I told you? Oh my God! Somebody help me! Somebody help me! I'm live at that train station, and right now, one lucky mother is very thankful that her daughter was saved after falling on the subway tracks. It happened at 1029 this morning. Stephanie Lazar was on the platform with her three-year-old and an infant. The three-year-old fell onto the tracks as a train was approaching. What happened next is truly remarkable. A bystander jumped onto the tracks and saved the three-year-old from that oncoming train. Now, we have a surveillance photo that shows the bystander, but we don't know who he is. Mrs. Lazar and city officials want him to come forward so they could recognize him and give him thanks for his heroism. What's this? The system just flagged this, but it also has this node leading back to NSA. Do you know him? I got some bad news. Can I get you anything else, hon? Oh, yeah, another cup would be great. Thank you. Coffee coming up. Thank you. Hi, I would like a coffee, please. Sure. Two. Let me outside. Okay, cool. You guys are going to come next week, right? Yeah, so definitely. We'll definitely be there. I will email you, I will call you, I will text. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Come here often? Every war. This is my first. We're always thrilled to see new faces. The, uh, the guy I saw you with in the coffee shop, is he a new face? Have you been watching me? He gave a memory card from his camera to the cops. Are you kidding? Watch your back. Hey, why are you telling me this? Let's just say we got a lot in common. Come on. Amanda's world. Thursday at 8. Hey, guys. This is my new friend. Ted. Ted just told me that that new guy, John, is gathering our info for the cops. I don't even know what country we're living in anymore. Hey, man. Have, have a seat. It's a live feed of the protest route. I, uh, I, I, I contribute to a website that, that, that maps out all the camera locations around the city. Interesting hobby. Yeah. You can barely scratch your ass in this town without, without, without there being some sort of permanent record of it. But what I'm really into these days, it's long-range, earthbound telephotography. Hmm? It's, it's just like only a few of us that do it. 
We hook up cameras to, to, to high-powered telescopes and, and then direct them on areas that would otherwise be off limits. High-tech peeping toms. <laughs> no, the, the, we focus on government activities. Though some may say that the, that, that itself is pornographic. Let me show you something. These are some of my favorites. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah check it out. That night, they were experimenting with some sort of plasma energy weapon. What's this? I, uh, I, I, I took that in the, in the hills above an installation in Nevada. Political transport? No. And check it out, man. That's, that's, that's Air Force Two. How do you know? Whichever plane the vice president happens, happens to be traveling on is designated as Air Force Two. This is a, a, a p p private transport that's reserved to take high-level political types on short trips. It, it arrived accompanied by two F-14s. I, I, I checked public records of his whereabouts that day. He was listed at a political fundraiser in Nevada. After that, his location was, was undisclosed. This plane in the background here, this symbol, do you know what that is? I've been trying to figure that out, man. That jet it arrived about a half hour earlier. I, uh, shouldn't be too long. Be right here. I ain't going nowhere. Oh! Excuse me. Excuse me. Congressman will have to leave directly after this. Oh, of course. Thanks. Reality TV? At least then we'll get some coverage. A soldier's deteriorating from the inside out just can't compete. So your congressman's a good guy? He's trying to expose the true cost of the war. I was just over there. I'd like to speak to him in, uh, in private. It involves soldiers' lives. He's got a pretty full schedule. Are you ready for your bath? Where's the... Oh, my God. <laughs> Damn, it's good to see you. What happened? But whatever we found was enough for someone to try to send me home in a box. What happened to you? They started pulling out, and the rockets came. We were only about a quarter of a mile down the road when some of the guys started having problems breathing. We got our gear on, but it was bad, you know? Chemical? The symptoms aren't like anything they have data on. Some of the guys are spitting up blood, and the military is trying to say it's stress related. What do you got you on? It's experimental. I had to sign some waiver. Those pictures that you took, did you still have them? Yeah, I still have them. 
They're my house in Joshua Tree. And how are we today? I've been better, Doc. Listen, man, I gotta go. I'll come back soon. Take care of yourself. You too. And I think we're gonna bump you up to uh, 750 milligrams today. Come here, I wanna show you something. It's just right here. That's my friend. I got out in time. He, he wasn't so lucky. Five minutes earlier, I'd be just like him. I'll see what I can do. That's it for today. Thank you so much. Welcome. Sir, I would like to introduce you to Mr. Ted Keller. Mr. Keller was recently in Iraq and has information that will be of interest to you. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Keller. So what was your detail? I was with the IC inspecting leads on weapon sites. Well, I'm sorry it turned out the way that it did. So what can I do to help you? Actually, sir, I'd like to, I'd like to speak in private. Your meeting with the committee in Washington has been pushed down to 9 a.m. tomorrow. Oh, Christ. Should I tell them? No, I need to be at this one. Um... You don't have the plane ready early? I'll fly back tonight. I I'm sorry, Mr. Keller, but my news just got a whole lot tighter. You're scheduled to have dinner at 9 p.m. with the governor at that restaurant. Hey, the one with the... The whipped meat cappuccinos? Yeah. Yeah, let's rain check that. Uh, but send him a nice bottle of Cabernet to him and his wife. And uh, would you make sure it's a Californian? Are you free for dinner? I'm there. Great. Eliana, why don't you call that French place that Joe had uh, suggested? Is it 7 o'clock? Mr. Keller can tell me his story over a bottle of red. Actually, I'm, I'm more of a beer guy. I like you already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ileana will uh, give you the details. Great. I'll see you there. All right. Sure. Right here, Sinead. Right here, Sinead. Okay, right guys, here. that's it. Right that's here. it for tonight. I think you got it. That's it. Good night. Here you go. Hey, the congressman sends his apologies. They pushed up his flight. He helped you reconsider and confide in me. Well, you don't mind meeting strange men in bars? Are there strange men here? Are we, uh, are we staying for dinner? My ring's suddenly open. So how does a nice Russian girl come to work for a US congressman? A nice American girl, you mean? I was born here. And my family moved back to Romania, now Russia, when I was five. What brought you back? There's a... There's a lot of trouble back home. I have a little sister. But she got... mixed up with some bad people. I feel like all we're doing is talking about me. Okay, what do you, uh, what do you want to know? You can tell me how you're sitting in front of me when supposedly you died in Iraq two months ago. That could be an interesting story. Wow, you really, uh, did your homework, huh? Hmm. Well, uh, we were told to leave as the U.S. prepared to invade, but, uh, there was a lot of unsubstantiated statements being released as fact, and I just, 
I wanted to see the inspections through to the end. So you stayed even with bombs raining down? Yeah, well, I don't always think things through. Find anything? That's what I wanted to talk to the congressman about. Come on. We have to go. Now. Come on. Leave me alone. Flight returning to San Francisco, the California. No apparent causes yet. Once again, early reports show that the flight log lists Democratic Congressman Carl Mathers of California and three crew members <laughs> on board. There are no survivors. We'll keep you updated. Everyone's got it. Everyone's got it. Everyone's There's no use. Keep it tuned right here. Right here, just, uh, just pulling right here. What can I get you? Two vodka tonics, please. Yeah. I thought you're more of a beer guy. The tonic will help with the nerves. Not to mention the vodka. You can't get your whole self together. How are you? Hey guys, here you go. I'll have to break it. I could have been on that plane. them I think it's about what I found in the desert what did you find here you go
Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. We can't let you drive like this. All right, we'll call you a cab. What do they want? I'm a loose end. How do they find you? Congressman's plane crash wasn't an accident. Okay, and you were supposed to be with them? They might not even know about me. What? Me? What would anyone want with me? Do you have me? any other phones? That's funny. He's trying to connect. No room service, but at least it's on the water. We pursued Miss Popescu to a restaurant in West Hollywood. She slipped out the back with this man. Name's Ted Keller. He's an IC weapons inspector, one of ours. He reportedly died in Iraq three months ago. What's she doing with a weapons inspector? NSA is calling up a search for Mr. Keller in Los Angeles. We don't know what their interest in him is. I want this thing cleaned up immediately. Yes, sir. Hey, Jim? Yeah. Uh, how's the wife? Mm, yeah, well, same here. 
Hey, listen, Jim, I need to call in a favor. Question is, what do you know? Or what do they think that you know? Here. This covers the last few months. P. Faisal? Saudi prince, one of thousands. He met with a congressman in a closed-door meeting. I have no details. And VP, vice president? Yeah. They had a brief meeting a few days later. Carl wanted more time, but I was only given five minutes. That really made him angry. I've never seen him like that. What about this? What's this? That's funny. He never went into my book before. I mean, do you have any idea what it's about? Something to do with the energy committee. He usually likes, liked to have me alone to take notes. But he began going to this alone. What about this one, next Wednesday? That's energy too, a big one. Some important international guests are expected. That's all I know. If only I could see his notes. You know where he kept them? There is nothing in the sea. He returned home to San Fran most weekends. They'd probably be there. The system just picked up some calls to reporters we've been monitoring that seem to have been made by Mr. Keller. I'm having the transcript sent over now. Did you get a location? It's coming. Send a man in. I try to call a few reporters, but uh, no one will bite. It seems their jobs depend on remaining friendly to the administration. I have lots of press contacts. Why don't I make some calls? It's not safe. You need to stay off everyone's radar right now. Why were you so against keeping the gun. When I was 14, a friend and I found my dad's handgun. I, uh, I picked it up and I was checking the chamber trying to remember everything he taught me. Someone suddenly appeared in the doorway. I jumped. The slide slipped and the gun went off. My dad had come home early from work. The, uh, a bullet grazed his heart. He spent the last 13 years in assisted living. I was in hiding when he died.
Thank you for what you did back there. My pleasure. Listen, I'm gonna go for a little while. I want you to stay here. I'm not staying here alone. It's okay. I'll be right back, okay? Uh, just keep looking through the book, see if you can find anything else. Quanto cuesta? Yes. Yes. Necesitamos a Elis. Hello. How long ago? Look, I, 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 I'd rather talk in person. Come in. Uh, look, I'm uh, 
I'm late for a very important meeting. This is your most important meeting right now. Okay, well, if a man's so... body was found at a hotel in Los Angeles. Did you uh, hear about that? Or... Uh, no, I. Then he was uh, in pursuit of an Ileana Popescu. Well, look, I just save it. See, we already know everything about you. I know when you eat, sleep, and piss. You're feeling a little bit uh, compromised by Miss uh, Popescu's existence, but listen, that, that doesn't concern me. Your pursuit of her is getting in my way, and it will stop now. <laughs> You're crazy. You better start talking some sense. We also know about your trips to the Philippines. Oh, the video of your, how shall we say it, liaisons. God, if that were to come out, that would be embarrassing. Why did you come here? Just lay off a of pescu, okay? Oh, and Keller. All right, just drop it. Oh, hey, man. How's it going? Hi. Is, uh, is Avi here? Uh, no, she went to the store. You guys want to come in? Uh, thanks, man. Hey, Warren, we got company. Oh, hey, man. I'm glad you're back. There's something I want to show you. I've been doing some research into the identity of that tail fin in the photo. I, uh, I traced the call letters. Uh, it's registered under under a name that doesn't match the logo, Global Investments. But then I noticed that the tail section had been repainted. I had a buddy of mine at Cal Research. He enhanced this, and he, he came up with an ID from the shadow of the raised paint, the Dupre Drug Corporation. Now, I cross-checked their board of directors and, and major investors, which led me to the Nord Corporation. Now, their logo is a, it's a variation on this. And, and they have virtually the same board of directors and are, 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 are in essence, the same entity as Dupre. Dupre transferred that jet to Nord two years ago. Mm. This is their website. How many cameras are between us here and say Joshua Tree? You mean all cameras? Just the ones that could track a car. Yeah, well, we're not quite at London numbers yet, but we're getting there fast. What route? License and registration, please. What's going on? Random sobriety checkpoint. Are they sour? It's, uh, it's her car. ID, miss? Have you been drinking? Not a drop. We're just trying to get a jump on traffic. Thank you. Drive safely. Thank you. Happy birthday.
Chris Price. God. I'm so sorry. These are found with the weapons we uncovered in Iraq. This memo's dated April of 2001. It seems Nord was supplying biological agent to Iraq. To use on Iran? They're next on our list. I thought there was an embargo on trade with Iraq. These didn't come through normal channels. What doesn't add up is that Saddam knew we really had it in for him. And that if he accepted these, that he no longer have deniability, we would have had the proof to get the public behind the invasion that 9-11 eventually made possible. Now he would have thought it was a setup. More likely, we quietly supplied it to some dissidents, and if Saddam captured the weapons, he would have hidden them from inspectors. Maybe, maybe he didn't even know what he had. Either way, we would have been trying to get him back from the moment we went in. This one also has the North symbol. It seems to be a delivery memo for a medical shipment manufactured by... The Dupre Drug Corporation. This logo was on a bottle of drugs they gave Chris at the VA. What are you doing? Whoa, hey, hey, hey. We're friends of Chris's, okay? He just, he asked us to stop by and pick up a few things. I hope you're Cliff. That's right. There's a new car at the Joshua Tree location. Its plates were recently reported stolen. Hey, it's Jim. We got a hit at that desert house. He's got to be there. I know it. I'm tired of swatting flies. Just make sure you're accurate. So Chris said you were in Vietnam? I was a gunner on a Huey. The whole reason for going to war was a lie. I mean, this, the, uh, the current war. It was a masterful use of propaganda. To what end? Did you ever hear of the project for the new American century? Are you expecting visitors? Hell no. Listen, Cliff, do you have a basement? No. What the hell's going on? Chris is dead. Okay, I should I should have told you earlier. All right, we found something in Iraq, and they killed him for it. Okay, and we're next. What do you mean, Chris is dead? He's yeah. dead. Okay, do you have any weapons? He's gone. The gun's useless. I'm out of ammo. Hey, 
That's irreplaceable. So am I. Oh, shit! Run for that hill. Take cover. Run? Wait, 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 wait. We gotta get out of here. Hey. What kept you this time? It's a constant shitstorm. Now that we've finally taken the reins, there's policy to undo. The news is starting to say we may never find the WMDs. We'll find them. Just give it time. Next summer, I want you to take me on a cruise. I'm gonna go to bed. Try not to stay up too late, okay? I'll try. Yeah. I'm sure I don't have to tell you to initiate damage control. We have got to pick up their trail. Is uh, Black Widow operational yet? I consider this a real world test. 
I want you to go broad. I was just at NSA. Keller's become attached to a, an, an Ileana Popescu, a former aide to Congressman Carl Mathers. Cross-reference the archive, run every pattern you got. I want you to place special emphasis on their web usage, compare typing patterns, durations, every detail, and get me their location. Call me on this line the second you got something. Don't worry about the hour. Okay. You should change your dressing. friend who's a doctor in Palm Springs. Hey, this is a pleasant surprise. Oh my god! Oh, what happened? What just happened? What happened? Bring him in, bring him in, bring him in. Let's get you on a chair and take a look at this. Honey, can you grab that blanket? This is a bullet wound. We need to get you to a hospital. No hospitals. Jim, we need to take care of this here. Quietly. You all finished? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Are you done? Okay. Thank you. Honey, could I see in the kitchen, please, for a second? Sure. Excuse me. She's like, oh, in her bag. What are you talking about? She's like, in her bag. I just look over here. Yes. You, I didn't want them to stay last night. Why are they stay the night? Why are they here? Well, tell them we have company coming this yes. afternoon. All right, okay. Yes. All right, here's the deal Cliff can stay and recuperate, but we're expecting guests this afternoon, so we're going to need that second bedroom back. Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Say, is there such a thing as a directory of biologists? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure. Here. This uh, should be a good start. Hey, this isn't going to get anybody killed, is it? Excuse me? Well, it's just that there's been so many microbiologists showing up dead recently. Really? There's only about five scientists in the country that could have engineered this weapon. And one of them happens to work at Nord. There's enough to be in the kitchen. Oh, yeah? Would you mind if we use this real quick before we leave? It's fine. Us. This is really starting to piss me off.
There goes that tree cover. What are you doing? Come on. Just a little farther, all right? Come on. Come on, let's head for this cave. Keep going. Things didn't go as planned. It seems our Dr. Santa now is a woman. Bingo. She uses an ATM at Beacon and Broxton almost exclusively. She makes deposits every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Today? But not for three hours. What should we do until then? Where is she? She'll be here. There she is now. What are you doing here today? It's not Friday. Afternoon, Dr. Sandanow. Who are you? Listen, you developed a germ at Nord. 
which I don't is, know what you're talking about. You're it, trespassing. It's been deployed in the Middle East. You need to leave. I'm calling the police. I was with the IC recently in Iraq, and we came across crates of biological weapons bearing this symbol. That means nothing to me. You're one of five scientists in the country with the means and the knowledge to engineer this, and you're the only one working for the company that developed it. My work improves the lives of hundreds of thousands of people around the globe each year. I wonder how many hundreds of thousands will die when this thing's used. You need to leave now. There's nothing I can do for you. I need a drink. Can we continue, Doctor? You say you saw those symbols on a weapon. On a medium-range rocket in Iraq, you found crates bearing these markings. My God. What? What is it? I was told that the Iraqis were developing this agent. I was trying to replicate it so that an antidote could be perfected. To protect our troops if we're ever used on them, it, it was never supposed to be weaponized. Not by us. Surprise. What exactly is it? What does it do? You don't want to know. Try me. It's a mutated version of the Ebola virus that is respiratorily spread and engineered for airborne transmission. It rapidly induces fever, followed by severe bleeding under the skin that progresses throughout the entire body. Within two weeks, 99% of those infected will die. How do you test it? My assignment was the germ itself. Then the project was taken away from me. Others were brought in to work on the vaccine. Is it still being engineered? Is it still local? There was an accident, a very close call, and all research was taken down to an underground lab in the Santa Monica Mountains. The first round of testing was just completed. These were found in the bunker. This can't be. What? According to this, the agent was delivered in April 2001. That's just five months after I began work on it. Hadn't even gone through initial clinical trials yet. How would you test something like this? Model organisms. Rats, monkeys. It's too dangerous to test on humans. The guard assigned to protect these said they were captured from Iraqi dissidents. Someone in our government must have placed them there, planning to test them on a human sample, while at the same time eliminating a regime they wanted replaced. That would be barbaric. And you're the one who developed it. What do you make of this? What is it? It means that the agent was engineered to be ethnically prejudicial. What are, you, what are you doing? You're gonna tell your story to a few reporters, or I am. You're crazy. I'm already constantly looking over my shoulder. I have a family. Listen, I don't wanna see this agent deployed any more than you do. I can, I can try to jeopardize the tests, introduce some bad data, but speaking out would be a death warrant for me. There might be a way you can help. I was getting worried. We're meeting her the day after tomorrow. Now we should pay a visit to Congressman Mather's widow.
down, please. Mrs. Mather, do you mind if I use your bathroom? No, of course. Thank you. I'm so sorry. If this it's was okay. anything... Can I get you something to, to drink? No, 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 don't worry, it, it's okay. A lot of food. No, don't worry. It, you must be exhausted. I... No, I'm not. I'm you have to want something. Give me some water. Find anything? They cleaned out his office, but they missed the fax ribbon. These are from an energy meeting. It took place two weeks before the congressman's plane went down. I don't have that meeting on the schedule. These are meant for Congressman Ballin. Car replaced him midterm after Ballin suddenly left office. Look at this. Yeah, hello? I'm calling about your service disruption. Do you have access to today's German papers? Yeah. Good. Get down one, and I'll call you back in 30 minutes. Yeah. There's someone there I want to put you in touch with. Do you have a pen? Yeah, go ahead. Five, eleven, seventeen, You'd get that? Yep. In one hour. Take care of yourself, huh? You too. Look, I'm not comfortable being here, so let's make it quick. He said you might know what these are. This shows the assignment of Iraqi oil fields to various corporate interests. It seems to be a recent draft of an early version I saw in 2000. And, uh, how about these? It's about the petrodollar trade. These were confiscated by the FBI and came through my department. I'm sure you recognize the man on the right, since his name is on the documents you handed me. 
He's funneled dozens of highly sensitive U.S. military secrets out of the country in return for large payments by the men on the left, a Turkish general. Who's she? You must be the only American who doesn't recognize her. Amanda Airedale, the reality star. So what is she doing with these two? She was at the same hotel. Probably we talked her way into the reception. She's an opportunist, attracted to any situation that might improve her visibility. Here she is. Good to see you again. Let's go. Welcome back, Doctor. Thank you. The main lab is hundreds of feet directly below us. When I get in, I'll do what I can. If I'm not back in two hours, then you're on your own. I wasn't expecting to see you again so soon. We're pressed for time. I can move faster if I go alone. No. I need you to stay in. How's the antidote coming? It's nearly completed. I'd like to see the samples.
right. Well, I've done what I can. We should know if you're in the clear within the next 24 hours. But until then, I need you to stay in isolation. Well, thanks for getting down here so quickly, Bill. All right, well, call me if anything changes. All right. Jim, are we secure? Yeah. Keller was at the lab. He what? He was released. I need that sample. Santa now gave me a vial of the Ando before she, uh, she died. Found a way out and, uh, stayed in the mountains till I wasn't contagious. We should go. What's your position on yesterday's U.S. drone strike? These terrorists have to be taught who's boss. <laughs> Send them back to hell where they belong, eh? <laughs> Ask him about his ties to Turkish General Savas Demir. Do you want to comment on that? Uh, I, I don't know what he's talking about. No, get him to open up about his plans for the Middle East. One comment. Uh, no, no, no comment. What is this? Nobody will believe this. I suggest you enjoy your final few days in office. Decided I'm going to try to fill the congressman's seat and continue his work. Are you sure? You'll have to constantly be on guard. At least I'm being hiding. You know I can't stay, right? When... I gotta keep moving. Where will you go? Thought I'd look up some distant relatives. Will I see you again? Come here, something I want to show you. I have sworn upon the altar of God eternal hostility against every form of tyranny over the mind of man.
Mr. Keller, I am happier to see you than you might think. Because you, sir, are living proof that the antidote works. What do you want from me? Well, tell the other vial. There were two, now there's clearly only one. Listen, I'm not authorized to tell you this, but a highly respected member of our government was exposed to the agent that was released in there. He needs that antidote. He'd be dead in days. And if you're planning to deploy that German to Israel with an Iranian rocket without the antidote, that'd be suicide. Interesting. Why would anyone do that? To get public support for an invasion of Iran? The U.S. economy would collapse if the world stopped trading oil against the U.S. dollar, as Iraq has recently. My job... is making sure that there is a world there when we wake up in the morning. That we do not go from the greatest nation on Earth to some third world cesspool. If the U.S. currency is ever replaced by the euro as the basis of the world energy trade, we are talking World War III, my friend. How many lives would be lost then? You would never let that happen. You want the oil. Listen, I want you, just, I want you to think about one thing. Right now, you might be permitted to live out some semblance of a decent life. I don't have it. Santa now gave me the only vial she took from the lab. Now, I am tempted to believe you. But I know some other people who won't. Well, Ted, hey, we all ought to make our own choices, don't we? Don't we? Keep eyes on him, but don't let him see you. We're watching him. If he has it, he'll lead us to it. I need results. 
now. Pull over. I'll cut him off. So did you sleep well? Yeah. Have a good one. Thanks. You too. Excuse me. You know the way to the Havapai Reservation? Havapai Reservation? Wow. I ain't getting too many people asking me about that. You just really want to get away from it all, huh? Yeah, you could say that. Let's go down this way. All the way to the end, right? And take a left. Keep on going so you don't see no more civilization. You'll find them there. Thanks. Thank you. 